Hello and welcome to this spoken tutorial on installation of Koha. In this tutorial, we will learn to configure proxy settings, add Koha repository, install Koha common, configure Apache to server, configure MySQL server. To record this tutorial, I am using Ubuntu Linux OS version 12.04. Koha version 3.16.05.1, Firefox web browser 33.0 and Gedit text editor version 3.10.4. You can use any text editor and web browser of your choice. To install Koha, you should have a working internet connection and admin access to your computer. You should also have basic knowledge of how to use the terminal. If not, for relevant Linux tutorials, please visit the Spoken Tutorial website. First, let's see what is Koha. Koha is a free and open source integrated library management system. Koha is World Wide Web Technologies compliant and hence is platform independent. It has powerful feature like full text searching. It uses MySQL database as a backend. Please note to install Koha, one needs to be root user. That is, one needs to have admin rights. Let us start the process. Open the terminal by pressing Ctrl Alt T keys simultaneously. Notice the dollar prompt on the terminal. At the prompt, type sudo space su and press enter. Then type the sudo password and press enter. Notice that the dollar prompt is replaced by hash symbol. If you are working under a proxy network, then configure the proxy. If not, then you can skip these steps. The command for the proxy setup is export space http underscore proxy equal to in double quote http colon slash slash login name colon password at the rate proxy address colon proxy port number slash where login name is your proxy username password is your proxy password you can get the details of proxy address, proxy port number from your system administrator. Note that password should not contain special character like ampersand at the rate dollar. Prefer asterisk as a special character in your passwords. I have already configured the proxy on my machine. Next, we will add the Koha repository. Type on the terminal wget space hyphen capital O hyphen space http colon slash slash debian dot koha hyphen community dot org slash koha slash gpg dot asc space pipe space sudo space apt hyphen key space add space hyphen and press enter. Type echo space dev space http colon slash slash debian dot koha hyphen community dot org slash koha space old stable space main space pipe space sudo space t double e space slash etc slash apt slash sources dot list dot d slash koha dot list press enter the koha repository will be added onto your machine in a few minutes clear the terminal by pressing ctrl l keys simultaneously now type apt hyphen gate space update and press enter then type apt hyphen gate space upgrade and press enter while upgrading it may ask do you want to continue 
to continue type y and press enter now let's install koha type the command apt hyphen get space install space koha hyphen common and press enter it will prompt do you want to continue press y to select ok press the tab key and press enter wherever required koha common gets installed next we have to modify the koha configuration file for web access type gedit space slash etc slash koha slash koha hyphen sites dot conf and press enter in the koha hyphen sites dot conf file you will see the following lines change the value of intra port to 8080 then write below opac suffix line type zebra underscore mark underscore format equal to in double quote mark 21 then type in caps zebra underscore language equal to in double quote en press control and s keys to save the file close it and go back to the terminal now let us open ports.conf file for editing so type gedit space slash etc slash apache2 slash ports.conf and press enter below listen at type the line listen space 8080 save the changes by pressing control s keys simultaneously then close the file and go back to the terminal restart apache by typing service space apache2 space restart and press enter next let's configure utf8 in mysql database and apache server open a new terminal type sudo space su and press enter type the admin password and press enter type gedit space slash etc slash mysql slash my dot cnf and press enter it will open my dot cnf file scroll down till you see basic settings section under the basic settings section we have to add some lines of code for convenience all the required lines of code have been provided in the code.txt file this file is available in code files link below the player pause the tutorial click on the link and save the code.txt file on your machine then open it using gedit now resume the tutorial paste type the following lines of code from code.txt file to my.cnf file hash utf8 defaults for koha enter init hyphen connect equal to in single quote in caps set space names space in small utf8 enter character hyphen set hyphen server equal to utf8 enter collation hyphen server equal to utf8 underscore general underscore ci save and close the file and go back to the terminal next type the following command gedit space slash etc slash apache2 slash conf dot d slash care set and press enter it will open the apache2 dot conf file locate the line add default care set space utf hyphen 8 paste the following line of code from code.txt file above it add care set 
space in caps utf-8 dot utf-8 save and close the file and go back to the terminal for sax parser setup type gedit space slash etc slash perl slash in caps xml slash sax slash parser details dot ini and press enter copy and paste these lines from the code.txt file at the end of the sax parser file within square brackets in caps xml colon colon lib xml colon colon sax colon colon parser enter http colon slash slash xml dot org slash sax slash features slash namespaces equal to one save and close the file and go back to your terminal now we will install mysql server type apt hyphen gate space install space mysql hyphen server and press enter it will prompt do you want to continue type y and press enter to select ok press the tab key and press enter give a password for mysql's root user as per your choice i will type koha123 to select ok press the tab key and press enter re enter your password to confirm it to select ok press the tab key and press enter to clear the cache of your machine type apt hyphen gate space clean and press enter to enable rewrite module for apache type a2 en mode space rewrite and press enter restart apache by typing service space apache2 space restart and press enter for creating koha library type koha hyphen create space hyphen hyphen create hyphen db space library and press enter then to secure the mysql server login to mysql by typing mysql space hyphen u space root space hyphen p and press enter enter the password i will type koha123 and press enter at the mysql prompt execute the following commands press enter after each command type in caps use space mysql semicolon in caps delete space from space user space in caps where space user equal to single quote semicolon flush space privileges semicolon quit next type a2 this site space 000 hyphen default and press enter then type a2 en mode space rewrite and press enter then type a2 en mode space deflate and press enter to restart apache type service space apache2 space restart and press enter at the end let's do the web installation of koha the login username will be koha underscore library for password copy and paste the following lines from code.txt file sudo space xml starlet space cell space hyphen t space hyphen v space in single quote y a z g f s 
slash config slash pass space slash etc slash koha slash sites slash library slash koha hyphen conf dot xml and press enter. You will see the password. Make a note of the password as it is used for login. Open the browser and type http colon slash slash 127.0.1.1 colon 8080 and press enter. This will take us to the Koha login page. Enter username as Koha underscore library. Enter password that you noted down from conf.xml file. Click on login. Click on next whenever prompted. This will take you to install basic configuration settings link page. Click on the link. Select mark 21 option box and click on next. Scroll down the selecting default settings page. At the bottom of the page you will see the import button. Click on it. It will direct you to the last page. Here it says MySQL and mandatory data added. Click on finish. You will see congratulations installation complete. If this page does not redirect you in 5 seconds then click on here link. Now Koha login page opens. Enter username as Koha underscore library. Enter password that you noted down from conf.xml file. Click on login. The Koha home page opens. Now let's go back to the terminal. Lastly we have to run the zebra rebuild command. So type Koha hyphen rebuild hyphen zebra space hyphen v space hyphen f space library and press enter. This will show you zebra configuration information. With this step the installation process is completed. In future to work with Koha library open your web browser in the URL bar type http colon slash slash 127.0.1.1 colon 8080. It will take you to the Koha login page. Enter username as Koha underscore library. Enter password that you noted down from conf.xml file. Click on login. Let us summarize. In this tutorial we have learned Configure proxy settings, add Koha repository, install Koha common, configure Apache to server, configure MySQL server. The video at the following link summarizes the Spoken Tutorial project. Please download and watch it. The Spoken Tutorial project team conducts workshops and gives certificate to those who pass our online test. For details, please write to us. Spoken Tutorial Project funded by NMEICT, MHRD, Government of India. For details on the mission, visit the link shown. This script has been contributed by the Spoken Tutorial team. And this is Kavita Karad from IIT Bombay signing off. Thank you for joining.